Samuel. Hey, Riggs. How are you? Yeah, just fucking peachy. Listen, Riggs. You know we used to be like brothers out there surviving. But things have changed. Yeah, they sure have. And it's because of fucking people like you. I had to make tough choices to keep us alive, Riggs. It wasn't personal. Tough choices? You left us behind. You call that not personal? I thought you were dead, Riggs. I had to move on. Well, I'm not dead. Am I, Samuel? And you're gonna answer for what you did. But Riggs, we've lost so much already. Can't we just find some common ground? Common ground? You made your bed, Samuel. Now fucking lay in it. I guess we'll have to agree to disagree, Riggs. I guess so. In the shadows of my upbringing, my old man handed me a blade sharp truth. Trust is a one-time deal. Cross that line and you've unleashed the storm. The trail isn't met with endless talks or open arms ready to forgive. No. It's met with the cold, unyielding presence of someone who's seen the darker side of trust. My dad's words echoed like a battle cry. Don't let betrayal slide, son. Struck back. I'm not talking about revenge for its own sake. It's about survival. In a world where trust is a precious commodity, my old man crafted me into a warrior, unflinching in the face of betrayal. My heart might be a little bit colder, a little more guarded, but in this world where trust can be a double-edged sword, it's a necessary armor. Betray me and you'll find out just how I see the aftermath can be. Hello everyone, I know it's been a little while since I last uploaded, but I've just moved into a newly built flat and we're still decorating. So as you can imagine, it's been a little bit difficult to set up my computer, but it's up now, permanently. I've received so much love and support to my channel, even though this is only my ninth video, and it's been really overwhelming because I didn't actually realize that people really enjoyed the absolute nonsense that we create on this channel. Unfortunately, because I'm still really new to all of this, I made a mistake when I started recording for this video. I filmed about four hours of footage only to realize afterwards that my mic wasn't being recorded. So now I'm having to explain everything that happened. Luckily for me, <laughs> nothing too crazy occurred. I met up with a guy called Evan. He didn't have a lot to say, but he was pretty chilled and I enjoyed his company. He was pretty new to the game. He said he only had about 15 hours and he's never even won a play carrier. So I made it my personal goal to get him to Tizzy. I explained all the risks. I told him that it was a massive hotspot for many other players and he might not get what he was hoping for unfortunately for evan this is where his journey ends but it's where our adventure begins Now, I've probably already created a voiceover as to <laughs> what's been going on, but uh, here we are. My mark is definitely working this time, but we're going to keep moving because this is Daisy, and unfortunately, things like this happen a lot. <laughs> 
so there's no use crying over spilt milk uh i've been told now guys i've never ever claimed to be a daisy pro i've never i've never tried to pretend like i know what i'm doing and i will continue to be like that until i know what i'm doing but from what i've been told is that if you cut your feet from ruined shoes you don't have to bandage because the amount of bleeding is not enough to kill you and it will heal itself whether or not that's true i don't know 338 lm rounds yeah i don't i don't know what that's for is that a good gun rv set there's the saline bags for the whole of fucking africa but nothing nothing useful for us if we meet anybody here at tizzy we are not making friends because we just cannot afford to right we got boots so we're going to repair these very quickly off the leather sewing kit i got from poor evan i think at this stage ideally what i'd like to do because you guys know me i like to have a teammate teammates make things interesting most of the time at least so i would like to find a teammate and at this point with the way i'm geared the only way i'm going to find a teammate is on the shore uh i would most definitely find a teammate there uh number one because i'm fully geared and they'd probably want to kill me uh number two I wouldn't give them a choice. They'd have to team up with me. Team up with da. <laughs> Ooh. Let's go and have a perusal. Only thing is I don't have a long range. Are they raiding? Wait, are there bases on Karma Crew? Yeah, they are. They are bases. I remember seeing them earlier. We may or may not die here. I think we've got a sniper up on the hills just across from me. Yeah, there's a base there. I wonder if they're shooting into that base. It's not a very good viewpoint from this side. Ooh. don't know exactly where those shots were coming from that's one of the problems okay we seem to have lost those gunmen so i think we're going to keep moving but we've got an rv start kit so the blood is going up a lot quicker now thank goodness Whenever I have a teammate, I always, it's, it sounds weird, but I kind of prefer them to be a bit more dominant. I, I don't like leading people in DayZ, because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing myself half the time. I, I prefer to... I don't know, I just prefer to be the one to follow, you know, do whatever you want to do. Now what you're about to witness is probably one of the most annoying things to happen when making videos. I had logged off for the night and returned the day after, only to find that the server was warped in between, therefore losing all progress. I then had to improvise. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh 
Oh man. Shit. I think they might have wiped the server. Uh, in the time that I last recorded. And now. Fuck man. Okay. I guess we go again. Uh, I have an idea of where we are. Um, we're near below to airfield, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, try and make my way over there. See if I can find anything, which is unlikely because below to airfield's a, a pretty shitty airfield. But, uh, we might find something useful. Right, we have some sort of protection now. the most unattractive pair of trousers <laughs> I feel as though I may have gotten myself lost thinking I knew where I was going but in reality I didn't would it be too much to ask to uh, perhaps find a can of ta tactical bacon There's no way this is how I die. <laughs> this was shaping up to be one of my worst experiences on day Z. I started to feel depleted. The pressure of making a video that was just as good or even better than my last really started to play on my mind. I even considered scripting a video, but then I realized that it's raw adventures that people really love about my content, so I kept pushing. Oh, is that for a first find? This is the run. I can feel it. This one's meant to be. Ooh. Ooh, let's go have a look. Oh, there's definitely people in this town here. Uh, if they're shooting, they might be a little bit too on edge to make friends. Which is the only downfall. I feel like everyone is just avoiding me. Cool, fuck you know, let's get the laugh out of me. Okay, well the good news is, it looks like I might be able to make it back to my body. bad news is there's a lot of gunfire coming from that area I think those gunshots might be coming from the airfield but I've chased so many gunshots and I just can't seem to find any like any people because those shots sound like they were coming from the tents we're not going to run straight through the airfield uh, again because obviously we've just done that and we know there's nothing there. So we'll run around. See if I can have a look at my body. Well, it didn't take very long at all for someone to find my body. That doesn't fill me with hope. Okay, um... I wonder if we can head straight for the airfield from here. The map says we can. So 
guess we're gonna try okay so according to google maps if we follow this road all the way to the top and then just keep going straight we will eventually come into uh northwest airfield and then obviously from northwest airfield we can get geared up okay so the journey begins of action go check that hunting shark kill that animal without getting shot at okay we didn't get anything from there but that's okay we've still got the animal Fucking kidding me. Ugh. How annoying, man. Well, you know, maybe I didn't get that animal because I might find a cow or something. And the meat on that is better anyway. Okay, that's Green Mountain over there. Which means I kind of know where we are now. I have a feeling there might be somebody at uh, Green Mountain. There used to be a rock here that you could jump over. But I think they may have removed it. There were people there, just not when I was there. So we're gonna go to uh, the airfield from here. Pretty sure I'm to get there from here. I would imagine that I'm not very far behind whoever was at Green Mountain. There's another little military checkpoint just past this barn. I'm wondering if whoever was shooting might have gone there. I don't know why I picked up two knives, but I panicked. Yeah, that guy wasn't killed that long ago. I think the gunshots that we heard must have been that guy getting killed. You know, which is unfortunate for him, but we did get a little bit of loot out of it. This is where we start entering dangerous territory. Often, more often than not, people are not looking to make friends around here, so... I think our time window to make a friend has passed and therefore we are now in full survival mode. Ah! 
oh good amount of meat as well just wondering if it's a good idea to even cook here but don't really have a choice at the moment uh if it would be that way oh this is dodgy i hate this one thing i don't like about the new update uh, and it's probably the only thing I don't like is the cooking sounds when you're cooking meat before the update there would be that sound that sizzling sound that would tell you when your meat is cooked but now it doesn't do that so you have to constantly be watching your meat so you don't burn it uh, I'm not a fan of that Sure, that's a truck. <sighs> yeah, you guys friendly? You friendly man? Hey dude, I, I I mean no harm. I'm here in peace, dude. Here in peace. Hey dude. Bro, we're stuck. Help us, please. Help oh us shit. Stuck. My buddy's here. All right, dude, I'm coming. Bro, what the What's fuck? up, my dude? He's stuck. Please do something. No worry, man. I'm gonna see what I can do. Oh, nice one, nice one. Thanks for being friendly. I'm glad you guys didn't kill me straight away. Oh shit, you're stuck. I'm stuck here. <laughs> it's okay, bro. What, what the fuck? Oh, damn. Okay. Because I saw you driving down the road and I thought, oh, these guys aren't going to stop. Yes, yes, yes. We saved him. Yekka! Yekka! There you go. Hey, bro. Do you live here? Around here? No, I, I, I don't have a base or anything like that. Oh. I was just on my way to uh, Northwest Airfield in the hopes of finding a plate carrier or something. What's your, what's your name, man? Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Okay. Smooth yeah. operator. My dude. Oh, you're a legend, dude. That's for you. Oh, dude, thank you. It's fine, my bro. It's really nice of you, man. We'll... We are. We don't have uh, much loot, but. Uh... Oh, this is my favorite backpack. I yeah, swear. You, you can have it. Oh, take the, your stuff. Did you uh, did you want any meat? I've just cooked so fresh. No, no, no. It's fine, bro. Oh, cool. We have uh, enough, and if we stash more loot, I think we might get banned or something. I saw uh... the and I think we have like too much. I'm not sure how many items you can stash, but. It's like what, 800 or something like that, and we have like 500. I, I'm i worried if we get the Going total. against trouble. What's your name? Uh, uh, in game or uh, real life? Yeah, whatever you whatever you like to use. I'm Moth. Moth. Nice like to meet you. Like the animal, but with a set. Oh yeah, like like the like, I see what you mean. Yeah, you like know, the bug. You, you you know you know Batman. Uh, he he used Batman because he's afraid of bats. So I <laughs> I'm moth because You're I'm afraid, afraid of, of moths. Yeah yeah. <laughs> my name's oh, Rigby. Oh, server is down. What what's your name? Oh, my name's Rigby. Okay, Rigby. Nice to meet you. I hope we meet in other life or in this same life. Yeah, thank you, dude. Thanks for your help. Bye, my dude. The fucking legend. He literally just gave me plate carrier and some NBC gear. So now I guess all we need when we go to the airfield is guns. It's becoming not um and 
I'm not a fan of going into the airfield at night. Not at least not without night vision. This military area here is usually gassed. I've always had different ideas for the way my story ends. I didn't plan it out this way. No one did. But it helps me remain humble. Humble to know I'm not the best, but confident enough to know I can be.